That is the characteristic of an Afro house, is infusing the vocals that has African flavor in it. I've had a lot of uh, exposure into my culture. Obviously, my culture, I'm a Tswana guy. So um, I, have an, I had an opportunity to learn more about the sounds that we use uh, as Tswana people, like from different um, percussions of Tswana. So that, that's where my inspiration came from, where, when I started uh, producing and playing house music. My challenge, it was to cater for the masses. You understand? And people, um, people to absorb it in such a way that I, do, uh, I don't insult or, 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 you know, in other cultures, other instruments, when you play them, in other cultures, they will start classifying your music as, okay, this is a Tswana, Tswana tracks. Yeah. You listen to it. Yeah. So uh, my challenge is it was to infuse all the cultures together and make sure that I come with a unique way of, you know, a person can relate to type of instruments and they can relate in terms uh, they can also relate in terms of melodies that are input in my composition the, the thing that i love about house music is the fact that um, it's very distinctive why i'm saying that is that you you've got your typical techno house you've got your classical house you've got your electro house mm -hmm. and then when you go deep into african house there's a there's a there's a genre that we call Afro house. Afro house. And when you talk about Afro house, people they wanna listen to 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 Kajanin infused with house. Mm -hmm. They wanna listen to Salif Keita infused with house. They wanna listen to Kofi Olemide infused with house. They wanna listen to the likes of Le uh, Mira Makeba infused with house. And that's how most of the Africans. And actually, that is the characteristic of an Afro house, is infusing the vocals that, are Af that has Af African um, flavor in it. 1999, I had an um, opportunity to go and travel. I went to represent South Africa in, in Moscow. Uh -huh. Yeah, I went to Omsk, but I went there to do some dancing competition. Right. Mm -hmm. So when I went to Moscow, I went for a dance competition. But now what I did, I did a song that had a lot of African music into it. Right. So when I was there, they said to me, you know what? The co actually, the competition started on Thursday and it was supposed to end on Sunday. I had an opportunity to stay there for longer. Actually, I stayed there for more than six months. Because, and, and mind you, I didn't win the competition. Um, uh, we were chosen, two of us from South Africa and all the other countries. There were two representatives. Mm -hmm. And after I played the certain music and I danced to it, they approached me saying that, you know what, we need you to come and stay here and teach us how you dance to this thing because I was able to dance to music and lyrics of an African day. I saw this a need. Our music is, 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 is not being well marketed and well represented globally, you see. So I ended up now having to sit and make a music that is African. It made, it made me realize that there's a need for such. So I, I started, you know, making African music for people to dance to. You understand? But it wasn't really how. It wasn't really how. It was Afro music. And then I saw, you know what? There's a need there. And I, I started building it up in such a way that even people within Africa, they can appreciate this. So for people to consume it every day, I had to infuse house into it so that it gives me a leeway to, to be able to play it in, in, in places like clubs, parties and whatever. 